Oh my God, this is so cute. And it says, Gigi Bellananua, you guys don't like me to take pictures of you anymore, but I know that in 20 years from now, you will really appreciate these photo albums. Life has been great. I'm so lucky to be your mommy. I treasure you and every day we have together. You're growing up way too fast, but I guess time flies when you're having fun. I love you, mommy. And if I think about my children of who, you know, who they are as human beings, I mean, this really represents them the best. The mother and daughter relationship is the most important relationship in your life. It's an unconditional love that you will never really understand until you have your own children. That was really the purpose of why I wanted to do the show, was to, to help moms and daughters reconnect and go on this journey. I mean, it's so amazing to see like school pictures. I used to do hair and makeup at the school plays and be the class photographer and stuff. I wasn't raised with fashion magazines. I didn't know anything about, you know, makeup, walking on heels, like nothing. I went straight from the barn into the industry. So I had a lot to learn. But I think that my mom gave me such a great foundation that I was very mature for my age. My girls were raised very Dutch, were very kind of, humble, black and white, say it as it is, yet we're very polite. When I went through my divorce, I packed up my three kids and moved to Santa Barbara. So, you know, my son was 18 months and the girls five and six or four and five. So their whole life was in, in Santa Barbara on the, in a little farmhouse, riding horses every day. And then later on, when they were teenagers, they moved to Malibu for three, four years before they went off to college. Birthday parties, first dances. Gigi is a Spider-Man, I mean, <laughs> it's hilarious. And, you know, Gigi always wanted to be a model. Bella never wanted to be a model. I mean, she never even liked the camera. Like, I couldn't take a good picture of her because she was always goofing and laughing and making jokes. I mean, even this, this is when I was still modeling and my mom brought Gigi to Hawaii and at lunchtime. She came to see me on set, and look how cute. We dolled her all up. They've been riding since they're two, three years old, and they're still riding today, and it's really the reason why we're back on the farm. It's amazing to see them on the cover of magazines from so many different countries. I mean, from America to Holland, to France, to Germany, to Thailand, China. I had a very strict rule, even when Gigi got older, she was like, mommy, there's lots of kids there model when they're 60. And I'm like, I don't care. Nobody starts working in that industry until you're 18 years old. Today, she looks at me and like, thank you. Like, thank God I had the two extra years to grow into who I am as a human being before I was put out in the world to be judged by everybody. I'm my children's anchor. I know when too much is too much. I know when I have to bring them back to the farm, I have to get them back on their horses, make sure they sleep enough, and just completely disconnect from that whole world that yet is so important in making a career. And I think for them coming on the show and talking to the girls and making the girls understand that they're, they're human. They deal with anxiety, they deal with you know, with insecurities, body image problems, just like every other teenager or young adult. Both the girls, I always said, listen, there are a million beautiful girls out there, probably more beautiful than you are. So in order to set yourself apart, you have to be the hardest working girl on set every day. You have to be kind, you have to be grateful. And that's what people remember. They don't remember your pretty face. Like I said, there's millions of pretty faces. So I think what sets the girls apart is really their work ethic and, and who they are as human beings.